When it comes to myth, Peterson has tried to break down the general types of myth. And according to him, there are four specific myths. The first is myths describing a current or pre-existing stable state, which is sometimes a paradise or sometimes a tyranny. The second is myths describing the emergence of something unexpected or threatening and perhaps promising into that initial state. The third is myths describing the dissolution of the pre-existent stable state into chaos as a consequence of that unexpected variable. And the fourth is myths describing the regeneration of stability or paradise regained. So paradise lost and paradise taken back. Or conversely, tyranny regenerated from the chaotic mixture of the previous experience. These myths, the categories of myths, talk about our present and our future by designating and giving us a story about what is, what should be, and how we should act to get there. What are the results of acting different ways? The myths will be examples of that for us. A good simple example of this that many understand is a Christian example of a class four myth, which is that the traditional Christian notion that man has fallen from an original state of grace into his currently morally degenerate um, and sort of unbearable condition and his desire for a return to paradise. He, he argues then that Christian morality is an example of myth explaining what is, what should be, and how to act to get there. That the morality of Christianity is how to act to get to this imagined state that we will never arrive in, but that we seek, that we yearn for, and that the rules of which make up our culture. These myths have a commonality because man is always suffering. There's always suffering, there's always hardness, difficulty. And because we're aware of that, we are always looking for respite or relief. So these myths are intrinsic to the very nature of being human and the very difficulty of it, the successes of it. And they are sort of a guidebook for us and they make the rules of our culture. Hi, thanks for watching part of my ongoing series as I continue to read Jordan Peterson's textbook, Maps of Meaning. If you want more content like this, be sure to check out the full playlist linked below. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll leave a like and a comment below. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, then go ahead, press that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.